when I first started here, I, I was very skeptical until my first day. Uh, I, I realized this wasn't just someone's garage. Uh, in fact, it's an incredibly sophisticated facility uh, operating much like uh, pharma. We have a number of different analytical instruments that allow us to, to really drill down into the uh, composition of our product. So we're looking at cannabinoids uh, in-house. We have uh, mass spectrometers to, to look at pesticides. Uh, it also allows us to uh, contribute to clinical studies. It also allows us to test uh, third-party material. So we can receive material from uh, customers who are legally allowed to, to grow their own product uh, and we can test it in our lab. This is THC. If you wanted to have a way to, to enable people to either fall asleep or stay asleep, where are you going to compound those cannabinoids? Where are you going to isolate them and see which combinations work the best? If you have a facility like this, you start thinking it through and before you know it, you have people in trials in beds with gear hooked up around their head and you're seeing which ones cause a better sleep. And the product could be medical, the product could be recreational, but it has to turn into something that doesn't exist straight from the plant if it's going to be the most effective medical or if it's going to be the most interesting social consumption pattern. So when we keep that moving, the nutrients pump through their veins. People still have some stereotypes, we have to work through them, but you know, you coming here, does this look like a marijuana facility or a high-end lab where you can have lots of interesting PhDs coming and sharing ideas? The industry is um, is maturing quite rapidly uh, and it's, it's only becoming more sophisticated and uh, uh, more well-regulated. I mean, this is no longer uh, uh, something that's run by biker gangs or, or uh, people growing in their basement, right? Uh, this is a, a true pharmaceutical facility. It's hard not to be excited when you look at what this could be and the most remarkable part is it can be because there was this since 1923 massive barrier which held everybody from actually being rational and scientific and so I think you know labs and the people who work in the labs are probably going to be the dominant actors over the next five years in the evolution of this whole platform.